for the next 100 days, I'll be spending it as Steve. Experiencing the new world in Minecraft, being a complete noob, will I survive the mobs, the griefers, and the elements? Will this Steve find his way, learn his way up, and become the best player? Watch until the end to find out. On day one, I spawned in as Steve. There were people all around me. Hey man, I'm Steve. Hey, are you new to this world too? Oh, I just got here. Whoa, is that a dog? Whoa, and a cat? Hey, how's it going, guys? There were people standing around, trading, and having jobs. It was so cool here. Wow, this is such a cool place. There's so many people around here. I hope I make some friends. After exploring this insane structure, it was time to go into the wild. And when I got out there, there was so many insane builds. Things and blocks I've never even seen before. Wow, that's really pretty. That looks crazy. While exploring and playing the world, everything, I mean everything you do here, will live forever. For you to watch, and maybe even see for yourself. Yes, you guys are able to join this community on NFT Worlds. All I did was download the their launcher and click the NFT World's SMP server. More info in the description, of course. Whatever happens on here is a one-of-a-kind copy and immortalized forever. Literally no one else will have it. I hope I don't embarrass myself too bad. I traveled for what seemed like a long time because I wanted to get away from everyone else's build and, you know, start my own legacy. I had a few pieces of steak in my inventory, but that was it. On my travels on the night of day three, I had a run-in with these creatures. Oh man, it's pretty dark out here. I can't really see much. Wait, how? What is that? Wait, is that a spider? And what are you supposed to be? A green Steve? I mean, I'm supposed to be Steve. You're green. Oh, okay, okay. No, no. You definitely sound like a zombie or something. No, I'm getting out of here. I'm not dealing with this. Oh, well, like, look at your legs. Why do you move like that? Get away from me. I, I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out of here. Wait, is that a chicken? Why, why, why is there a chicken? I, I, I don't care. I'm getting out of here. I had to get out of there. I quickly found a tree and I stayed up there. The mobs weren't able to get up there. <sighs> That's right, zombie. You can't get me up here. The sky is actually beautiful right now. I I'll just hang out here for the night. I looked down and the coast was clear. W wait a minute. What, what are you? Do you have two? Four legs? Why do you have no arms? Whoa, whoa, what's that noise? Oh, okay. Um, okay, well, that was that. Whatever that was. I decided I was going to make some tools. Um, okay, how do I chop this thing down? Am I really going to use my fist? What? How does this make any sense? Ow. Okay, this hurts. Ow, 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 ow. Oh. Okay, I got a piece of wood though. Okay, I have these pieces of wood, but what am I supposed to do with it now? All right, let's go to our handy dandy Google. Uh-huh, Minecraft, what to do, Minecraft tools. Oh, yes, yes, tools, wooden tools. This makes a lot of sense, actually. Okay, make myself an ax, a sword, and a pickaxe. Sweet. Oh, and it says I can upgrade my tools too. Maybe I should go find some of this gray, oh, stone, this stone stuff. And what is this? Oh, this is coal. Maybe I can use this later. I'll just keep this for another time. Man, the Minecraft world is so beautiful during the day. I like it 10 times more than nighttime. Time to go into this little, I guess this is like a ravine drop-off. Oh, what is this? This must be the iron they were talking about on Google. Let me just mine it here. Um, wait, what? Why didn't I get anything from that? Uh, must have been a fluke. Maybe I'm lagging. I, I don't know. Let's try that again. Okay, here. Here's another piece of iron. Maybe, okay, maybe I won't lag this time. Let's try this again. <laughs> Oh, uh, nothing happened. Okay, what's actually going on? I, I, I gotta be a noob. I, I'm a, definitely a noob. Let me check the Googles again. Oh, it says I need to upgrade my tools to stone to mine it? Okay, let's try this again. But uh, while we're at it, we might as well make some stone tools here. I have a big axe, a sword, and an axe now. Oh my goodness, it actually worked. I'm able to mine iron now. Okay, the more you know, guys. I spent the rest of that day mining and uh, finding things maybe I could use for later. When I returned to the surface, it was getting really dark, so I decided to find another tree and spend the night there. I'm not taking another risk down there. I don't want to die, okay? I started off day seven walking into this green block stick. It blew up. These things are going to be annoying. But I can't spend every night on the treetop, so I decided to clear this land of its trees and start a base. Ah, uh, now what should I make it out of? I mean, I have a lot of dirt, so I guess uh, we'll make it out of dirt. The night of day seven was peaceful. I had a base and I was protected, so I was not on edge. On day eight, I actually began crafting some iron armor from all the iron I found in the caves. Hey, who are you? I'm one of the best players on the server. Oh, I'm new here. I'm sorry if I don't have much stuff. Well, now you're going to have no stuff, noob. Wait, did I just die? I'm back here. I was I already left here. Why am I back? And what was that guy's problem? Okay, I'm going back to my stuff. I, I'm going back to the base. I hope he's not there when I get back. And so my long journey began again. The world was so big. I was so exhausted from traveling all day. But luckily when I got back, I didn't see that player around. And actually my loot was still on the ground. It was dark. So I dug a hole in my base and I hid underground. I don't know who that guy thinks he is, but I will get my revenge. On day 11 to 12, I need to make a better base to protect myself and my loot. I hope everyone on the server isn't 
wasn't as mean as that guy was, so I uh, just gotta hope for the best. I saw this secret trap door trick online, and I made a secretive tunnel to a new base down below. I wanted to have a little bit of space, but not too much, so I began digging out a little area for myself. On day 13, when I finished digging out down below, I kept hearing this really strange sound. I mean, this can't be Minecraft. This sounds so uncommon. Then I saw a pig, and I needed food, so I decided I'm gonna kill this thing. I charged it, but all of a sudden it started running like crazy, and I had to chase it for a while. Come here, piggy! Why are you so fast? Like, what? What is going on? I mean, that thing had little legs, but it was moving. The pig was able to run to a dark spot in the cave, and I lost it. Are you serious? I literally let a pig get away. How am I supposed to be able to kill a player? I was pretty far away from the base, and all I had for food was this rotten zombie flesh. It did not taste good. Well, if I can't chase down any live animals, I guess I'll have to start a farm. I'll start collecting some seeds. I had a decent amount of seeds, so I began starting my farm. At least the crops can't run away from me. And while I was being a farmer, the pig showed up again. Hey, what are you doing back here? Huh, you're pretty friendly, actually. Uh, I guess I'm making food right now, so I don't have to kill you. What's your name? Uh, I guess pigs don't really talk. Is it okay if I call you Porky? I think that's a good name. Awesome. I guess we're friends then? He seemed friendly, and I know he was fast, so I wasn't going to be able to chase him and kill him. So from day 15 to 17, I went out. I wanted to go kill some animals because I needed some food. The easiest animals I found to hunt were fish. All I had to do was swim around the river and just hit him once with my sword. They stood no chance, and I was a noob. Alright, I think that's enough fish. Uh, let's head back to the sur- Oh, that's a pig. Um, I don't think I'm going to hit any pigs. Out of respect for Porky. Oh, what is this? Did this thing go bad? Okay, this is definitely a sheep. I'm killing you. Come here. Oh, dropped uh, that wool and raw mutton. Cool. I was able to find a really big group of cows. And well, this is what happened. Hi, chicken. Oh, bye, chicken. Whoa, look at these cows run. They look so funny. It got dark and I killed a lot of cows and animals, so I felt bad. It was time to return home. When I got back to the base, the seeds I planted had fully grown. I now had wheat. Oh, wow, these things grew pretty quick. I'm excited to eat them, actually. Okay, that's a, that's a big accomplishment for the boy, Steve. Let's go. After harvesting the wheat, I had so much more and I was able to plant three times as much. I made two campfires and I began cooking my food in the furnace. Wow, it's about time this Steve had a decent meal. I'm excited. I wanted to get more stuff and get stronger. I wanted a diamond sword. So I asked the people in the world if they wanted to trade anything for some diamonds. I returned back to the spawn and I met this player. I'm not sure if he was trying to trick me or he was just a nice guy, so I was really cautious about it. But he told me to follow him out to the wild because I can't drop anything here. So I followed him. This big red line represented the wild and he could actually kill me at this point. But he actually dropped me two diamonds. Um, I didn't really have much, so I gave him two pieces of steak and a couple seeds. And he seemed happy with it. I guess people are okay. I now have the ultimate weapon, the diamond diamond sword. From day 21 to 24, I spent my time down in the mines. If I had more ores and valuables, then I'd be able to trade with people and get cooler things. Are those diamonds? Yes! Let's go! Hey, I found this noob and killed him! I saw him at spawn a few days ago and he got a diamond sword. Let's go kill him! On day 26, when I returned to the surface, I was so happy with my results. I was able to make myself a diamond chest plate and leggings, and now I had a decent set of armor. I was now protected. I got back to the base on day 27. It was a nice day, and I saw two guys on top of my base. I didn't feel very comfortable, so I got my diamond sword ready. Give us the diamond sword, noob. No, it's mine. Give it to us or we will take it. Come and take it then. Before I knew it, they were attacking me. Yo, what do you want from me? Why are you hitting me? Why'd you bring your friend to come help you? I tried to play it smart. I ran around my house and some trees. The one guy only had leather armor and a stone sword. I knew if I was able to separate him, I was going to kill him. I swung a few times and... Aha, take that. You just got your friend killed. The other player that had killed me previously was too strong. I was able to get a few swings on him, but he hurt me too much. I had to get out of there. I tried to gain some distance. I was running for my life. There was no way I was dying to this guy again. He began shooting arrows at me, and that's when I was able to run away. I got on top of the treetop and I lost him. Oh my goodness, I just can't get a break out here. I waited out a day hoping they'd be gone and when I got back to my base, everything was good. And then I went to go check on my farm and there he was again, the guy I just killed. Hey, what do you think you're doing to my farm? Stop trampling them, I'm growing them. I watched as he broke my wheat and grieved my property. What are you doing, man? Come back here. I was able to chase him down and kill him. No one's messing with me anymore. I didn't know where the other guy was, so I rushed back to my base. On day 31, I was ready to go. But then I heard a familiar oh. oink. Porky, is that you? Oh. Yeah, come on, we gotta get out of here. We're not staying here. Uh, I don't know what you like to eat, but do you like seeds? Okay, you're... Okay, you don't like seeds. Okay, I'll figure out what you like soon, don't worry. And Porky and I were off. I wanted to find a new base, somewhere that was pretty far away from there so they wouldn't bother me again. Something really strange happened, though. I ran into another pig in the wild, and Porky attacked it. I, um, Porky, what are you doing? Like, I don't know, I guess maybe he was jealous of... 
other pigs, so I just steered clear when there was other pigs around. He was a good hand, though. He helped me kill skeletons. This Porky guy was, uh, I don't know. He had an attitude, but he was pretty cool. Oh, wow. Porky, do you see that? That's got to be our future home. This is it. I swam across the river, and I started scaling up the mountain. I dropped down on a ledge, and I began digging away. This was going to be our base. Inside a cave with an ocean view. Porky, what do you think? Ah, I think he likes it. So from day 32 to 35, I built my new base inside the walls of the cave with a big entrance. I think I was going to enjoy the views of the water. Porky as well. On day 36 to 37, I needed some better gear, so I sold some iron and slash shop, and even some gold. That was actually a really nice feature that the server had, and it actually helped me get along my way. On day 38, while exploring around the world, I found a really mysterious looking house. It actually looked beautiful. The door was left wide open, so of course I let myself in. What can I do for you? I'm looking to buy some items. <laughs> you? You're a noob. I'm not. I have two kills to my name. Sure, what can I get you? Do you by chance have an enchanting table? In fact, I do. But I don't want money. Another star that was stolen from me. Oh? It was stolen by the player that has taunted you. Find him and retrieve my star and the enchanting table is yours. You got it. Deal. I don't like that guy anyways. I had to find this player. He was griefing other players on the server and I had to take him out and deal with this. Not only do I get to deal with him, but I get an enchantment table out of it. So it'd be worth it. I had no idea where to start to look. The Minecraft world was huge. On my travels, I spent my nights killing mobs and killing any cows because I need food. I also collected anything that I think would be useful in my journey. On day 42, I found a house on the shore. It actually looked really cool. As I got closer, I recognized that player. My goodness, it's, it's him. It's a guy who killed me and he has the star i figured my best plan of attack was wait for it to get dark and then when he was distracted i could attack him i also figured if i ran into the player at any point i might need some lava it helped me in my combat i couldn't risk it so i dug down in a hole and waited till nighttime once it got dark i crouched slowly over i was waiting till he was fully distracted so i could take advantage of it and there it was my opening who's the noob now take this haha <laughs> you're on fire what's up bro ha <laughs> you don't even have a sword this is what i call revenge stop picking on everyone that's right who's the noob now luckily he didn't even have a sword on him only a pickaxe and I was able to kill him. He dropped the star and his armor. His pickaxe was really good too. This was some good gear. He didn't even respawn, so I spent the rest of the night in his base. That's what I thought, bro. By day 43, I returned back to the mysterious stranger's house. I handed him the star and he was very appreciative and gave me the enchantment table. Thank you very much, uh, mysterious looking skeleton dude. I was so excited to enchant my gear. First thing I wanted to do was my sword. All right, this sword's gonna be so much stronger now. Wait, I want a level 30 enchant. All right. Back to the Google. How to get a level 30 enchant. Ah, okay, that, that makes sense. I realized I need leather and paper. So I need to harvest some more sugar canes and kill a lot of cows. So on day 45 to 47, I went resource gathering. Placing down all my sugar canes so I could grow even more. And honestly, killing enough cows to supply you enough burgers at your local McDonald's. Sorry, cows. When I finally got enough bookshelves, I wanted to make an enchantment space. So I expanded out my base. I finally used the proper formation for the bookshelves around the enchantment table. And now I was ready to enchant. First, my my sword, it was okay, and then I enchanted my shovel, cause why not? On my time in this world, I'd been hearing rumors about this dimension, the nether. I wanted to know more about the hell's dimension, so I returned to spawn. On day 49 to 50, I went to talk to people, but no one was in the spawn, I guess everyone was at their base. So I had to do my own investigating. Some players made some really cool structures and some weird ones, but I loved my home base. While exploring, I found something, it was purple, and when I walked over to it, I felt a really weird aura. There was a noise coming from it. Is this it? Well. Let's just go in and see what happens. I took one peek, confirmed the rumors, and I was out of there. Yep, you are not gonna catch me dying in here. By day 51, when I reached back to the base, I knew what I needed to do. I needed to get some of that purple stuff for my own so I could explore my own nether. So I found myself a really big open cave and I found some purple stuff. Ah, uh, I wonder how much of this stuff I need. Uh, let's just grab whatever. Finally, I left the cave when I had enough obsidian. I mean, I guess that's what this purple stuff is called. I'd been down in the caves for quite a while that I didn't even know where I came out of. And this was my first encounter with these weird looking people. Well, let me show you. Hello there, um, person with a longer nose. Why are you staring at me? What do you want? Oh, you're, you're trading? Trades? You're trading things? Um, I'm not really interested and I don't really have any of this stuff. He even had this really blocky, iron looking dude. I smacked him and all of a sudden he started throwing me up. Ow! Yo, leave me alone. Oh, you actually hurt. All right, well, you kind of knocked me up on this tree, so that's your fault. Haha, <laughs> take that. The further I got into this area, there was a bunch more houses and dudes with longer noses. Well, I guess they're called villagers. I found, uh, what seemed to be a broken nether portal right outside the village. It had a chest with some loot in it and actually more obsidian. I had a long day, so I decided to sleep in one of the villagers' beds. But I wanted to be back with Porky, so I made my way back home from day 56 to 57. Porky, I missed you. How are you doing? Why are you hanging out up there? Is that like your favorite spot? On day 58, I lowered myself down to the cave under our base, and I made the nether portal the way I saw it. All right, here goes nothing. 
Oh my, I'm getting dizzy. Why is my screen shaking? Oh my goodness. Where am I? There was lava literally everywhere and it was super hot in here. Oh my goodness, I'm literally sweating, like, everywhere. Like, my butt. But I was here for a reason. I had to prove myself and my strength. I needed to kill that ender dragon. I carefully weaved myself around this dimension and made sure nothing was going to kill me. I actually was just scared of the lava. But the dimension was pretty cool as I ran around it. Whoa, who are you guys? You guys are allowed to hold swords like that? You guys look like zombies, but a little bit weirder. I'm just gonna mind my business and get out of here. I ran into this structure and it seemed a lot darker and a little bit more eerie than the other ones. But then I saw these guys with axes and these really oversized pigs, I guess you could say. They made some funny noises. I was curious why they were attacking me, but then when I finally explored the whole thing, I realized they were probably guarding this chest. There was loot inside of it, but I had to keep moving. On day 63, I finally found what I was looking for, that nether fortress. I could hear a noise in the distance. This is probably where the blaze is. Oh, I need to kill you. Hey, you, you have what I need. Come here. After exploring the structure for a while, I found the spawner. This is where they were all coming from. They actually hurt a lot, and they lit me on fire. These things were really dangerous. I got what I needed, and then I was out of there. Yeah, I don't want to be here anymore. It's way too hot and they keep lighting me on fire. Get me out of here. All right, now I had the blaze rods, but now I had to get the ender pearls. So from day 66 to 68, that's exactly what I did. You hear that? I quickly learned that's the noise these endermen make when you smack them or make them mad. It sounds like a plane coming in from a distance that never stops and it actually just haunts you. They even had the ability to teleport. Luckily, I had really good armor and a decent sword, so I got what I needed and I was out of there. I right, see you later there, tall, slender looking men. I also heard many rumors about the world that there was something called ancient debris. These can actually be turned and become stronger than diamond and well, I'm gonna need all the help I can get. I was told to mine at a Y level around 12, so that's exactly what I did and many many probably thousands of blocks later oh my goodness finally i've been digging for you forever wait there's two. Oh, there's one beside it let's go all right so i need four to make one ingot all right let's keep looking oh score another piece oh two let's go yeah i'm getting out of here i just want one piece let's just make my sword stronger my next problem was finding where and how i got here but i finally did after a long search and wow it was good to be home hey porky hanging out on the bookshelf again i see okay cool okay now what do i do with these pieces of ancient debris all right, Google time. What to do with ancient debris to make netherite? Okay. All right. Got it. I smelted myself some netherite scrap. I crafted it with gold. And there you go, guys. My very first piece of netherite. Ah, yes, the netherite sword. I can feel the power. I'm one step closer to my goal. This thing is kind of heavier in my hands. Wait, what was that noise? I gotta see what's going on. I finally found the source of the noise. I looked down and there was a mob with at least three heads and one of the players was fighting him. The wither. What is that thing? Whoa, I hope he's okay. All I hear is explosions. Ah, oh, what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go in and help or? No, I'm gonna hide for a while. I watched the wither kill the player. All of his loot was on the ground. Uh, what, what am I supposed to do? Uh, okay, I'm going in. I'm going in. Come here, Wither. When he attacked me, my health bar went black, and I had no idea how many hearts I had. Dude, what are you doing to me? Eat this sword. I just upgraded it. Ah, dude, just get away from me. Ah, whoa. Did I just kill it? What was that thing? Oh my gosh. How many hearts do I have? It took a while for me to just figure out what was going on and calm myself down. And then the player returned. Hey, are you okay? Here you go, man. Take your loot. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. My name is George, by the way. It was my pleasure. Do you want to come kill the Ender Dragon with me? No, uh, that's okay. I've killed it once before. You should do it on your own. Here, take these. You might need it. And thanks for not stealing my loot. Thanks. I will kill the Ender Dragon. Trust me. And I will become strong. Good luck. See ya. George had given me a bow and I never used one before and I wanted to get some practice before I actually used it against the Ender Dragon. I shot an arrow right up in the air and uh, it didn't hit me, so... I mean, that's good. Oh, I see. So you can charge it up to make it go faster, and you don't even have to charge it up all the way. Cool. The bow is pretty strong, actually. It killed everything I shot in about one or two shots. I spent the rest of the day practicing my shot. It was getting better as the day progressed. I used up a lot of the arrows that George gave me practicing, so I had to replenish them by killing a lot of chickens and collecting some gravel for flint. On day 67, when I got back to the base, there was this llama and a villager, but he looked a lot different. I didn't really like anything he was trading, so I killed the villager, and then the llama started spitting at me. Bro, ew, are you really spitting on me? And your breath stinks. There was a lead on the ground and I used it on the llama and I dragged him into the base. He kept spitting at me, so I actually just boxed him in the corner because he was being a bad boy. The next thing I needed on my list was golden apples, so if I ate them, they could replenish my health. I was told if I chopped down some oak trees, I'll get some apples, and well, I already have gold from going mining. So I was Lumberjack Steve for the day. I had a lot of apples, but I only had enough gold to craft five golden apples. At this point, guys, I felt prepared. I had everything I needed, and it was time to go find that ender dragon. I threw out 
about the eye of ender and i followed where it went i lost a few of them but i guess that's part of the process i found myself digging down in a cave at one point because it led me down that way i quickly learned my lesson guys do not ever dig down in minecraft i fell directly into a trap i fell straight down into a cave opening and there was mobs down below there was some spiders biting me and actually they were poisoning me my health was going down quickly i tried to run and get away but i ate one of the golden apples i did not want to die i was able to take out the spawner but then there were so many behind me so i jumped to the water oh my goodness guys don't dig down ever why is there so many of you i'm getting out of here from day 85 my hunt was still on i had been looking for so long and I was really cautious at this point. I nearly died. Please, I vendor, lead me to that stronghold. After putting my faith and trust in them, I finally found the stronghold on day 89. Ooh, it feels kind of eerie in here. But I guess that's what it takes to be a strong player. I found this specific room while searching, and these little silver fish were coming at me. They were wiggling, and they looked pretty spiky. I had to take out the spawner too. I was not taking any risks. Oh, this must be it. This has to be the room. The sacred stronghold. I couldn't believe it. I came such a long way, being called a noob on my first day, and now I'm placing in the eyes vendor into the end portal frame one by one i placed them in all right let's do this wait where am i this place is crazy i had some extra ender pearls in my inventory and so i threw them onto the main island i uh made a mistake and i accidentally hit the slender enderman again and so i had to deal with them when i first got there i figured i should probably dig out a little bunker here because those endermen if they all chase me at one point i'm gonna be screwed so i made this little bunker the ender dragon did not like that she fired a ball right at me and it hurt a lot all right you want to play it that way let's do it then all right ender dragon you want to see how my bow practice went i'll show you wow i'm actually really surprising myself i'm actually taking out a lot of these i mean i mean uh, 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 this is on purpose I'm, I'm good i'm good all right i think that's actually all of them it's just mew and me now dragon the ender dragon came down for the first time and i rushed in with my netherite sword yeah take this ow oh you're pretty strong actually she knocked me back pretty far sheesh take this barrage of arrows though let's go after laying down all the damage the ender dragon was looking really low she came in for the final time okay this is it come here ender dragon yeah whoa yes die i couldn't believe it i watched the ender dragon float up in the air and disintegrate who's the noob now I noticed off in the distance something has spawned in it was pretty far out and i looked down and it did not look safe so maybe another time whoa is that an egg on top of that thing oh i want it wait where did it go okay i'll get it now what why does it keep moving how to get the ender dragon egg oh all right well let's give this a try then oh it actually worked all right shout out google and switch on youtube yes sir subscribe now all right get me out of here orky where are you i'm back yeah i know i'm not dead wait you doubted me on day 99, I wanted to show off my egg somewhere in my base, so I made a little cubby right below my base. Ah, that works there perfectly. On day 100, for nostalgia effect, I took off all of my armor, and I went in as a regular Steve. Huh, I don't think I actually embarrassed myself way too much in this video and in this world. Everything is immortalized, but, uh, I think they know I'm pretty strong now. Of course, guys, if you want to check out this world and this server, well, hop onto NFT Worlds. Link in the description, you can get the launcher, or even just put the IP in your Minecraft launcher. And that's how I spent 100 days as Steve on Minecraft.